So whenever you're doing that to yourself, whenever you're self-sabotaging yourself like that because you're going through emotional pain, what that's going to do is that's going to put a big red sticker on your sleeve that says, I'm going through emotional pain. Then typically what happens is you become very, very vulnerable. A little slickster is going to see that and going to be like, oh man, let me swoop in like an eagle and let me go up here and let me manipulate this person. Let me manipulate this woman. Let me manipulate this man. They're going to have you falling for anything that they say. You want to believe it. Even though you know it's not true, you will be saying things like to yourself like, man, why on earth did I go and put a house in my name for my boyfriend's cousin? Good evening. I want to talk to you today about a transformative journey that we've all embarked on at some point of our life. Now, this particular journey here, this is no journey that no one actually wants to embark upon. And that journey is going to be conquering emotional pain. The emotional pain can stem from a heartbreak, from like a breakup or like a loss of a loved one or a relative, a close friend or something like that. Anything that has heartbreak and a uphill battle, that's what I'm talking about. That's going to be emotional pain. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to conquer emotional pain. I'm going to be honest with you. Whenever you're dealing with emotional pain, emotional pain is something that is really, really hard to get over and it's really hard to conquer. At this point of my life, the most emotional pain that I had to go through was the last year when my grandmother passed away. At that point right there, I knew that could have been my breaking point. A lot of people may not know this about me, but my grandparents, they raised me my whole life like my mom and dad you know they was in my life also but my grandparents they were the ones who had the most pivotal part of my life and of my upbringing so I give them credit for raising me as soon as I arrived at the studio I got a phone call oh, hey man, you know, mama's dead. That really messed with me emotionally. And I'm getting like a little sad kind of talking about it right now. I'm gonna be a living example of conquering emotional pain. When I got that phone call from my dad, I broke down. I, I didn't know what to do. I couldn't say anything. Basically, I wasn't myself because my grandmother, she meant absolutely the world to me. Nobody can ever top my grandmama in my life. Nobody can ever do that. I knew right then and right there, I had two choices to make. The first First choice that I could have made was not recording my video. That was the first choice I could have made. The second choice I could have made, record my video. Even though I'm going to be emotional as hell on camera, what I wind up doing was I did option two. I went on ahead and recorded my video. I was on camera sad, crying. It was a really emotional felt type of episode. I realized if I would not have stepped up to the plate and still recorded that video, I had already, you you know, paid my, my sound crew. I had already paid my cameraman. So I was like, you know what? This is a test to see how strong I am. This is a test to see if I can actually conquer the most emotional pain that I've ever had to deal with at this particular point of my life. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let my grandmother down. I'm not going to give up on, you know, my consulting business. I'm not going to give up on life at all just because my grandmother had passed away. I know some people actually would have given up on life. They may have perhaps been like, man, you know what, man? To heck with, with me shooting these YouTube videos on camera. My grandmother just passed away. Everybody is built differently in life. So everybody handles and conquers emotional pain differently. But I, myself personally, just chose to take the high road with conquering emotional pain. And that was doing the hardest thing that I had to do was record a video the day that I got the call that my grandmother had passed away. That was the hardest thing in life that I've ever had to do. My wife was really, really there for me. Like my wife, her family, like my cousins and all of like my customers and things like that. People was really, really there for me during that troubling time in my life. What I decided to do was I decided to keep moving forward in life and to really rely on my support system, which my support system was my wife, my family, my close friends. And see, these were the people I would lean 
leaning on when I was going through emotional pain. Some people would have perhaps given up, but I did not give up. If you're ready to take your journey of mindset mastery to the next level and dive even deeper into mindfulness and also meditation, well, I've got a fantastic resource just for you. Inside, you're going to find step-by-step -step instructions, valuable insights, and also practical exercises to help you enhance your mindset and bring more positive changes to your life. Whether you're looking to conquer challenges, unleash your potential, or simply find more peace and balance throughout your daily life, this guide is the roadmap to success. To get your hands on this exclusive resource, all you need to do is click the link below in the description. When I came back home, all of my friends and my loved ones and my family, they gave me so much unconditional support, like emotionally, people were like hugging me, holding me, telling me, Tony, everything is gonna be okay. Tony, you know, I know how much you love your grandmother. Oh my God, you know, everything is gonna be okay. God is gonna bless you. It made life so much better because my friends, my family, they were my emotional support system when I was conquering emotional pain. And see, that's something in life that we all need, especially whenever we're going through emotional pain. We need some kind of support system. But what winds up happening is the average joker, they don't go up there and they don't want to admit that they are hurting. They want to seem like, oh man, I'm I'm a man, you know. I don't have to, I don't have to admit that I'm weak by asking for help. Most men are gonna be really, really prideful and not really want to go seek help because a man is the stigma that a man is not supposed to cry, that a man isn't supposed to ask for help. But I kind of wish that that stigma would kind of go down a drain because men can ask for help. Men are supposed to ask for help. And just because a man goes and asks for emotional help because somebody had passed away or something, that doesn't mean that he's not a real man. I noticed whenever something emotional happens in life and it don't even happen to be a death so let's switch it from a death let's switch it to a breakup even if you are dealing with a breakup you know your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your spouse or whatnot they could have maybe done something to really really hurt you at that point whenever something happens in life like that where somebody really really hurts you most people what they do is they give up on life oh man I ain't gonna eat nothing I ain't gonna drink nothing I'm not gonna take a bath I'm not gonna do my hair never give up on yourself because when you give up on yourself that person who you broke up with or they broke up with you, whatever the situation may have been, I guarantee you they're going to be looking on social media and then they're going to see you on there crying. Don't broadcast that you're going through a breakup because that's going to give that person who broke up with you that additional power in life to be like, oh yeah, hey man, look, ha 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 ha, I made her cry on social media. I either, oh hey girl, yeah man, see man, he on social media crying. If you're going through emotional pain, the number one way in the step of conquering emotional pain is to make sure to keep your same self-care regimen up. If you were doing facials and going and get massages and things like that for relaxation, even if somebody passes away or you're dealing with a breakup or something like that, always remember to take care of yourself. Yourself comes first and you should always do every single thing in your power to make sure that you do what you need to do to make sure you keep yourself up to par. It's no purpose of letting yourself rust out or become expired or nothing like that because you're going through something emotional. So whenever you're doing that to yourself, whenever you're self-sabotaging yourself like that because you're going through emotional pain, what that's going to do is that's going to put a big red sticker on your sleeve that says I'm going through emotional pain. Then typically what happens is you become very, very vulnerable. A little slickster is going to see that and going to be like, oh man, let me swoop in like an eagle and let me go up here and let me manipulate this person. Let me manipulate this woman. Let me manipulate this man. They're going to have you falling for anything that they say. You want to believe it, even though you know it's not true. You will be saying things like to yourself like, man, why on earth did I go and put a house in my name for my boyfriend's cousin? The next thing is when you're dealing with emotional pain, you need to make sure that you have a good group of individuals around you when you're going through emotional pain. 
thing. You don't want no friends and nobody when you call them because you're going through something. You don't want your friend laughing at you. You don't want nothing like that. When you're going through emotional things, you need a good solid group of human beings to be around so they can help you and support you. So let me not just say human beings. Let me also bring in like animals like dogs, cats, any kind of animal that may make you feel good. So you don't necessarily have to surround yourself with a good group of humans. The key to conquering emotional pain is to never ever wear that pain on your sleeve where the whole wide world can see. Because once you start wearing that pain on your sleeve, that emotional pain becomes a springboard for somebody else to dive into your emotional state and try to break that state and to try to get you to do what they want you to do in life. Now, if you're not fortunate to have a emotional support system in your life, I recommend to talk to like a therapist or like a counselor. Please don't go at this thing alone because I've seen people try to go through emotional pain alone and then next thing you know, they done either kill themselves or they done done something and hurt somebody else because they was going through pain because they may have perhaps felt like nobody in life wanted to listen to them. I just want to say this right here. If someone that you know is trying to tell you that they are going through emotional pain, please take the time to listen to what they're saying. Don't just push them out the way and act like you're too busy when you're not really doing anything but going home and binge watch your favorite TV show. Because that person is coming to you for help. You may not look at it as the person is coming for help. You may be looking at it like, man, this person just blabbing off at the mouth about his grandmama dying. I don't want to really hear this mess right here. If someone is trying to talk to you about something that they're going through, please just slow down for a minute. Take a second to listen to that person because you never know. You may have just perhaps saved that person's life. I have a friend, he actually killed himself a few years ago. And the reason why he killed himself is because his mom had died, his dad had died, his little brother got killed. And he felt like he didn't have anyone to talk to. And once I read the newspaper that he was dead, I was like, wow, I wonder why he didn't call me. Like I wish that I would have knew that he was going Going through this right here because I would have called him like I would have done something because he was my really good friend please don't go through this thing alone you don't have to do it alone please get other people involved so that way you got a emotional rock you got that support system please don't be like my friend and not pick up the phone and let somebody know that you're going through and then take your own life because you're going through something emotional please surround yourself with good quality top tier people so that way when you going through something emotional you don't have no people backstabbing you like jason friday the 13th so you don't need that because you're already going through something emotional you're already going through a divorce breakup a death in the family your car won't start whatever it is that you're going through so you don't need that additional stress you think they're your friend but they're really not your friend they're only your friend to your face but they're not your friend behind your back and that about wraps it up for today's episode until next time i'll catch you later